Filming, um, changing the oil pressure sensor on the Impala uh, SS. And what happens is if the sensor goes bad, uh, you get a service engine soon and then the car will always stay in the V8 mode. And um, also the remote starter will not work. So here you can see the service engine soon. Light comes up. And to fix that, um, we're gonna go and change the uh, oil pressure sensor. Let's see if I have it here. Now the oil pressure sensor costed um, us about $91 with taxes here in Winnipeg. It went to like a little over a hundred, I think a hundred and five bucks or a hundred and ten dollars. So um, once you change it, you should be able to remote start uh, the car and also uh, it'll switch uh, uh, from eight to four cylinders and back and forth. And we'll show you exactly how to do it. It's very simple, it's about five minutes uh, operation and the service oil uh, surface engine light should go out. Now uh, one thing you want to do is you want to make sure that it is the actual sensor that is defective and not your uh, oil pump. Uh, because if the oil pump breaks you will have no pressure and the sensor will detect that and lights up. So by changing the sensor nothing will happen. So uh, what you can do is get a uh, oil pressure gauge and put it where the sensor is and start the car and see. It should give you about 50, 55 PSI. Then you know your pump is okay and the sensor is defective. Um, we're just gonna gamble and just gonna change the sensor because I mean it's a piece of crap and I know it's gonna break. So uh, I think uh, the pump is fine and if the light still uh, stays lit then what I'm gonna do is go get the gauge and put it in and start the car and see if there's no pressure then it's a different operation. What you have to do is uh, go under the car where where the uh, uh, oil pan is, open it up, and it'll be just right there. And you can change it, and we'll put up another video on how to do that. So let's go out. It's freezing, snowy in Winnipeg, and it's very, very cold, and the car's outside. So we're traveling right now, so we have to do it outside in the freezing cold. But, um, uh, well, here it goes. Ready? Ready as will ever be. Let's rock. Okay. And turn off the engine when you do this. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Just before we go outside, here's the actual sensor brand new. So that's how it's going to look like. This part, the aluminum part, is going to get screwed on the engine block. And this part up here is where you're going to plug the electrical connection. So this comes off. And you can see right here, you have three pins electrical connector. And it's going to be sitting like this on top of the engine block. And we're going to go and I'm going to show you exactly where it is. And it's like a really five minutes operation to get it out. Now you might need, a, actually you will need a, a deep well wrench, a deep well socket with a wrench. And one thing to note, the threads on this thing is very cheaply made and it's aluminum and, and they'll they'll like they'll break very easily so do not torque it with the wrench tighten it with your hand I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it and um, it should form a very strong seal so here's the engine for the Impala and it's exactly right there so to know it this is the air intake that's like the front of the car so you go to the air intake just follow it that's uh, the air sensor right here. I don't know if you can see it. And follow that. And it's just like right there. You will not miss it. It's just right there. That's it. That's the actual oil pressure sensor. And on top of it, the electrical connector. Once you remove it, you'll see it. And then you have to put a wrench and take it out. Okay, Kisra, if you can hold the flashlight for me while I do it. Okay, so here's my 
socket wrench box and I'm going to try to fit what fits in here. I hope I have it. It's just fucking freezing. Fucking balls. Nothing fits this thing. Damn. Crap. Okay, that's a problem. And here's the sensor. I unplugged the electrical wire so you can see it looks exactly like the one we bought. This one it just has like yellow color. That's where the wire goes in and you you need to open it down there. On the base you see that little thing. You just screw it open. And it'll come out. That is the sensor. It took us like not even 30 seconds to pull the wire. Could you hold the light? Just hold the light. Just trying to find the wire I pulled. <laughs> Alright, see, this is the wire. That's the wire. It has like three pins that's gonna go on it. So just move it aside. And, and now use the deep socket wrench to reach it. So here's another view of the engine compartment to see its location. You see how? It's just down there. Very, very simple to do. And we're doing it in minus temperatures. There's ice everywhere and it's dark at night. And it's, it's going to take us less than five minutes. So it's not a difficult thing to do. I think anybody can do it. Here to give you an idea where it is. That's the front of the car. And I just put my... Uh, my wrench down so it's just right there and it doesn't take a lot of effort to screw it open just make sure your engine is off otherwise you'll have oil spewing everywhere and here we go could you uh, hold the light I'll see if I can hold the camera and open it there you go that's open and here it is we took it out here, give me the camera, actually. This is it. And this is where it was sitting. I don't know if you can see it. Let's see. I'll try to get it. There you go. It was sitting down there. Just make sure there's no dirt that can go in. Put the new one in, in place of the old one. This is the old one. We're gonna go get the new one and put it in and you're done. Here, maybe you can film me putting the new one. Here, hold it. And hold it like that. <clears throat> That's Operation Redneck. More like Operation Idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Who does this? <clears throat> so, here it is. I don't know if they can see it. That's the old one, right here, and that's the new one. They're exactly identical. Let's make sure you remove this little piece of plastic. And, well, don't throw it, don't litter, and do like me, so just make sure you throw it in the trash. So, that's the new one. Let's put the new one in and see what happens. Actually, I'm gonna screw it by hand. Can I have the flashlight? You can hold the camera. Let's see if I can reach it. And make sure it goes in straight. That's very, very, very important. You don't want to screw it in um, at an angle because then it's going to start leaking and you'll damage the treads and it's going to cost you a lot of money. So just take your time and make sure you put it in like straight. Flashlight somewhere. Oh, that's even better. That's freaking cold. Fucking balls. <laughs>
that one in. Now, there it is. I just screwed it in by hand. That's the new one. So now I'm going to use the wrench to tighten it with my hand. Do not torque it, remember. Don't torque it, just tighten it with your hand. Make it tight, not too much, and never torque it because the threads will break. It's made out of a cheap aluminum. And there you go, I'm going to do it. there you have it so what I say don't torque it I mean don't do this like don't go like this and then start pushing it uh, hard because it's not supposed to go hard there you go that's him <clears throat> now let's put the wire let me just that's the uh, three pin wire. You can't miss it, you have to line it. It won't go in unless you it's aligned. So you cannot screw that up. So just align it and it, you should hear a snap, a click basically. Okay, here it is. I put it in and actually this is the electrical wire. It went in and that's the little latch there. You probably can see it, let me zoom in. There it is that's the wire and that's the latch and it snaps when it goes in and that's it this is it we're gonna start the car and the end service engine light soon should disappear hopefully if it doesn't then that means it's the oil pump that's another video hopefully it's not because it's so cold and it's fucking balls here wait 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 but the lights let's take all this stuff out before something falls in there and then we make another video on what we broke <laughs> <laughs> all right that's it let's go let's go now once you install it start the engine and inspect for leaks very important to see that your what, what you did there's no leaks and I don't see any leaks it's really dry Let me see if I can show you. There it is. So there's absolutely no leaks. It's running fine. And it's good to go. So now your service engine light soon. Uh, service engine light uh, should go off. And the remote start should start again. And it'll switch from V8 to V4 uh, the displacement on demand should start working again it won't get stuck only on V8 uh, and there you have it if you have any questions um, leave a comment